all designers, it is Saberia Lovely with Saberia's by Design. Today I'm here going to make some Valentine's Day gifts for my son's teachers. I'm doing three little gift sets. I wanted to do something outside of the box. I also wanted to do something that wasn't too much candy because we're kind of getting candied out between Christmas and Valentine's Day being so close together. So I wanted to cut down on the candy a little bit, but also incorporate some other nice little treats in there that they could get and actually use for their classroom. So I wanted to do some practical items plus some little sweet treats and also wanted to step outside of the box literally a little bit, even step outside of the basket per se, even though I still consider this a gift basket. So I'll just let you take a look over the items that I picked up from the Dollar Tree mostly. I had a few items on hand already, such as these pens and pencils, but the rest of the items pretty much came from the Dollar Tree. A few items from Walgreens. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by showing you the inspiration for my Valentine's Day gifts. I had a set of playing cards just kind of laying around in my son's room and then they kind of shifted over to my craft room. So I decided to pull them out and work with them on a project. The hearts are indeed appropriate for Valentine's Day and I love that pop of white in the background as well as the bright red hearts. So with those playing cards, I knew I was going to need more of a slender type of container for my gift so that the card wouldn't get pretty much lost on it. So this is what I chose. I chose the clear plastic vases from the Dollar Tree. And they're really cute. So I've taken all of the paper out of my vases and took the sticker off the bottom. And so now I'm just going to take some regular packing tape. I'm going to put some on the back of this playing card here and just attach the card just to the center of the vase. So I have the cards attached to the vase and it's not as easy as it may seem because the vase is kind of at an angle going upwards. So you have to kind of line the card up with the bottom of the vase so that it won't be crooked. Nevertheless, I got it on. So my next step, since I don't have any decorative shred or paper shred, I'm going to use this garland and put some at the bottom of the vase. So I just cut off about three inches or so and I'm gonna fold that in half and stick it down in the bottom. So I wanted my gift to have a wild and crazy element to it because it is kind of like an out of the box idea. So I picked up these balloon weights at the Dollar Tree because they do have that kind of wild look to them, kind of like spread it out all over the place. Um, but they didn't have any that were plain. So all I found was these stars. So I'm gonna cover the stars with hearts. I did find some little glitter heart stickers at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to cover as many stars as I can with these hearts. The stars are attached to some wire, so they do stretch out. So I'm gonna stretch these out as much as I can, spread them out, and then attach the hearts. So y'all, here's my little heart tree. After I took off all the stars, I pretty much just cut them off with some scissors or either replace them with a heart. So now I'm left with hearts. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to fill in my items. I have this little box of Cracker Jacks that I just kind of attached a heart sticker to. I'm going to put it in. I have a pack of strawberry Twizzlers that I'm going to put towards the back. I have this tiny little memo book that I'm going to try to squeeze in the very front of the base. You guys, I don't like that Wexford name there showing like that through the front of the base, so I'm going to try to figure out a way to cover that up. So I think I found the item to cover that. I'm just going to use this cute little tech case right in the front. I've got some small little candy pieces that I'm going to tuck down in the very bottom. Y'all, since the base is so narrow, that garland at the bottom had to go, so I pulled it back out. And so now I have room to stuff the candy just on the sides here. Here's a look at my little Valentine's vase for one of the teachers. I think it turned out cute enough once I spread it out the little wired hearts. Let's bring it closer so you can see it. I stuffed the pens and pencils in. There's just enough candy, not too much. And I think it turned out cute. I am gonna wrap this with some cellophane. I also made a little ribbon to tie on top.
want to say thank you all so much for taking the time out to watch my video. I had fun making this particular gift and experimenting with the different colors and the different products and textures. Stay tuned for my next Valentine's Day video. Thanks so much for watching.